Tessator alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Chicago and the famed Aragon Ballroom for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of welterweight action, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. And only six losses from Obregon. Julio Cesar Chavez! And his opponent across the ring. An impressive record of 46 victories, 39 by way of knockouts, and six defeats. Coming out of Linwood, Josh Mosley. All right, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Well, we've seen Chavez so many times before, but what do you expect out of him tonight? What I always expect, that he's going to be steady, he's going to put pressure on you, but he's going to be smart about it, not reckless, careful and he's going to bang you down in the basement. Shane Mosley still shaking after feeling that uppercut. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. What do you think the Mexican legend is thinking knowing he's facing a guy who can bang? I think he's thinking that I know that my whiskers are really solid and he knows that that's all the other guy has. Chavez has other things. He's going to make him miss that big bomb, and he's going to start to take him apart. Halfway through round number one, Chavez's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Good one, too, by Julio Cesar Chavez. Phenomenal pace being set here. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're going to see. Ten Come seconds on, remaining in this round. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Just, just, just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now, all right? It's nice work out there. Just keep fighting smart. Keep busy. Don't take a break with this guy. You hear me? Here we go. Round two is underway. He missed with that headshot. Teddy, little Chavez trivia. He holds the record for the most successful defense of a world title with 27 and the most world title fights with 37. Anything dealing with longevity is going to fall into a category that he's going to dominate. Yeah, again, his strengths were not in one category where you say, you know, he's just scintillating in speed or scintillating even in power. But there were so many things he did well. He had a great chin. He was a good body puncher. He was very, very reliable. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Now he ties up there. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Chavez. 
Well timed by Julio Cesar Chavez. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Keep working the body. Mosley's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Last 10 seconds. Chavez's corner's got to be thrilled with what they just saw. They won that last round. They put down a beat down on their opponent. And now they got to be thinking, hey, this thing could really snowball in our favor big time when we get off the stool here. Yeah, they have to feel that way. Keep it going. Why change it now? You know, what you did the last round, it worked for you. It got you into a commanding position. Keep doing it. Keep doing more of it. But remember your defensive responsibilities as you go forward. Mosley's got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Nice! Back to the body. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Julio Cesar Chavez. It's much too early for him to be hearing this kind of analysis, but it's true. Mosley's punches right now are slowing down. He's tired. Yeah, and I'm wondering if he's mentally tired, he's discouraged, or physically he didn't put the work in. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Right to the body. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Really frustrating his opponent now. Chavez is so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. And now he scores well with a straight right. Final 10 seconds. Looking good. Looking good. He's tired. Look at him. He's so fucking tired. He's got nothing left. Now listen to me. I need you to double up the punches. And keep the lead, all right? Keep your hands. So as we start round four, we reflect on the first three, looking at Teddy's scorecard. Chavez has earned good marks taking all three rounds. Yeah, not eventful some of the rounds. Not a lot to separate the two guys, but I think that his jab has carried the day. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Well placed, jab straight. Keep moving. Chavez obviously over 100 plus wins, multi-time world champion. But for a lot of mainstream sports fans, when you mention Julio Cesar Chavez, the one thing that sticks out to them is that 1990 controversial finish against Meldrick Taylor Ted. A lot of people thought he was getting outpointed, he was getting beat. But the thing I think about is that he's a throwback, Chavez, and that was a 12-round fight. A 15-round fight would have suited him better because he would have broke down Taylor and he was starting to break him down. He scored well after being hit himself. Chavez is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Chavez is winning the fight to me based on his overall speed. He's just the faster, quicker fighter, and it's making it so that he's able to employ his ways and get the best of his opponent. Oh, he has that physical asset, no doubt about it. You can see it. But he has to be careful that he doesn't get carried away. He doesn't get reckless with that speed. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds.
And that's the end of round four. Mosley's corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fifths. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. Really a lot of consistency from him with the right hand. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Good right hand from Chavez. Not much action as he just ties up. Keep moving, keep moving. Scores with the combo to the head. Unable to make an impact there by Julio Cesar Chavez. Shane Mosley's lack of defense, especially when it comes with just getting away from that right hand, is really costing him a lot here. Well, it's pretty simple. The old timers would say, move your head, otherwise your opponent will move it for you. Looking good. Big right hand from Julio Cesar Chavez. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. What the old timers want to see, combination punching by Sugar Shane Mosley. Looks to the head. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. And round five comes to an end. Let me paint this picture for you. You gotta figure out a strategy, and your fighter's down to one eye. Well, I hope that he read some history books. Or oh, he watched a movie named 300. You saw that movie, oh, didn't yeah. you? Great yep. movie about the Spartans where they were outnumbered, and they had to get the terrain right to fight the fight. They had to get into the mountains where the greater forces, the greater army, could not be the great army. They could not get in there and battle where they could take advantage of their superior forces. That's what he's got to do. He's got to move the fight into a part, a portion of the ring where he will not be vulnerable on that side. Shane Mosley's gone into a defensive shell, but that shell has cracks in it. Yeah, it does. And the reason why it's getting cracks is because his opponent is confident that with those earmuffs on, you know, going into that peekable defense that he is, he knows he's handcuffed. So nice he's putting work, together nice three, four, five punches where normally he would only throw one or two, worried something's gonna come back. Face yourself. Halfway through round six. the left hand working well for him again. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Keep working the button. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Good one, too, by Sugar Shane Mosley. Mosley's fighting this fight as if somebody glued the bottom of his shoes to the canvas, Teddy. Somebody should check that right now. If I was in the corner, I'd call the referee over and say, hey, can you check that for me? All right, bang the head and the body. Here we go. Action to start the seventh round. Chavez is coming out here at the start of this round, knowing that the first half of this fight 
clearly has him out way in front on the scorecards. Yeah, you know, sometimes guys don't do good when they're way out in front because they start letting up a little bit. They start taking things for granted. That is probably the only thing. That Did you see that? Perfectly executed combination. Shane Mosley's down. He's going to have to beat the count. sense of a flash knockdown there. You can see he's not too damaged. His opponent better be careful. He's still got a live guy opposite him. Oh, yeah, he definitely does. And believe me, the best indicated that he didn't really hurt him. His opponent's not coming after him. He knows that he's okay. He knows that that wasn't one of those big shots that really debilitates a guy. Halfway through the seventh round. Try to go downstairs, but off target. Mosley's work rate is very high. I looked at the punch stats, and you can see that he's a busy guy. I don't think he's an effective guy, though. A lot of these aren't landing. Well, you have a reason to think that, Joe. Guess what? I agree. They're not landing. Keep working the body. Good double jab by Sugar Shane Mosley. Good return fire that time. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, ten seconds to go. And we come to the end of the round. This is yours. You hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points. Just keep throwing punches. Mosley's down on Teddy's scorecard as we start round number eight. Worse than that, though, this is almost a crime. Has he even tried? He's got tons of energy left. Has he even asked himself if he can get in a better position? No, somebody needs to remind him that this is not horseshoes. You know, you don't get points for getting close to that peg. You got to get to the peg. Chavez's jab is now carrying this fight for him from the outside. Yeah, because the jab is carrying the fight. You know, it all starts with that jab. And right now, that jab is leading the way. And that has some fight to it, that right hand by Sugar Shane Mosley. Took a shot, now he gives a left. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Sugar Shane Mosley. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Just like that, just like that. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Accurate jab brings the right hand. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. And that's the end of round eight. Mosley's corner has quite a task in front of them now. Their fighter's eye swollen shut. Right now, you have to come up with some strategy. Maybe he turns his stance around where he leads now with the good eye. You know, right now the good eye is back a little bit where he can't pick up things. Maybe now he needs to change his position in the ring where at least his good eye is in front. Keep working the body. Sugar Shane blocks that punch. More punch. There you go. Keep it going. 
Mosley's nose is starting to bleed. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Still no defense out of him. Still no ability to stop this onslaught. He's taking serious damage. And you got to worry got about his future because the damage he's taking right now for tonight, okay, we understand that, but how is this going to impact him for the future? That's where you're starting to get into a danger zone right now. Well played, straight right hand. Chavez is giving his opponent fits right here. His head movement is making for such an elusive target. Yes, it is. Now the opponent has to make an adjustment. He has to realize that he's finding air more than he's finding any surface up top. So go downstairs to the place that's not moving, down to the body. That is starts to take away some of that head movement. his opponent after blocking a shot. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. Basic but beautiful, jab right hand. And that's the end of round nine. Well, we've seen this before, a fighter with a bad cut, and sometimes a fighter that now has a much greater sense of urgency. Yeah, right now, if he was gambling, if he was in a casino, he's rolling the dice, he's hoping to come up with seven. Okay, listen. The action starts up again, but it's only favored one man. Hard to see this fight going to distance based on what we've witnessed so far. And now we see some blood coming from the nose of Sugar Shane Mosley. Relax! Nice. Oh. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Chavez. Chavez is leaving himself wide open there. You just can't do that. Well, you can do it, but you're going to get paid. You're going to eat some leather. You're going to get punched in the mouth. That's going to happen. Keep it going. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Left to right, left to right, left to right. Halfway through round 10. How about that exchange? Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. There you go. Decide to bring it. Keep doing what you're doing. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Coming to the end of round number 10. 10 seconds to go. And round 10 comes to an end. Big jab. That's right. Pick his jab. When he throws the jab. You're okay, don't worry. You're doing fine. Start of round number 11, Teddy's scorecard. Chavez has got a huge lead as we come down to the stretch run of this fight. The only way he can lose this fight is if he makes a mistake, not just the conventional one that most people would think, where he gets a little greedy, he does too much, but if he stops punching, if he goes too defensive, maybe the opponent gets an opportunity. He returns the favor with an uppercut. And now he's targeting upstairs. Nice strike after catching one by Chavez. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. 
Chavez is so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Sizzling hand speed we saw moments ago. Heck of a combination, but uh, pretty easy to get it off when you're that fast. Yeah, it is, and what it causes, too, is besides us saying, ooh, that we see those quick hands and the judges, you know, marking it down. Also, it makes the opponent keep his hands in his pocket. He's afraid to move his hands because the other guy's so much faster. That was not well targeted by Julio Cesar Chavez. Exchange there. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. One, two, three, four. Five. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. They trade shots. He comes back, and it's over. This fight is over. Shane Mosley's unable to continue in the eyes of the referee. That's it. Fight is stopped.